Welcome back yogis to your July yoga challenge. Today we are going to build our practice into the great pose bird of paradise. It's a balancing pose and it's also great hip opener. So to prepare for this pose we are going to start on the floor. Lie down and stretch your legs forward. Flex your feet and engage your legs fully. Press the top of your thighs down. Squeeze your inner legs. As you exhale, bring both knees to your chest. Hug your knees and gently relax your belly. Relax your hips. You can sway side to side, massaging the lower back. And then open your legs to happy baby pose. You're going to grab the heels from the inside of the legs and slowly open to 90 degree angle. Your thighs are parallel to the floor. Your heels are over your knees. Gently apply some pressure by pressing your heels down towards your knees and your knees down towards the floor. Keep your knees wide open so your thighs gently hugging your body. We are going to stay in this pose for five long breaths. Keep your right knee bent. Relax your left leg forward. Fully stretch alongside the floor and engage it fully. Press your left hand on top of your thigh and applying some pressure. Keep your hips on the floor and keep your hips squared. Continue pressing your right hand into your foot and open your hip deeper. Try to relax your upper body, relax your belly, but continue engaging your legs don't forget about your left leg, stretch it fully from your heel and slowly you start extending the right leg out to the side, trying to stretch and open through the knee and bring it back. Bend your knee and stretch it fully if you can. If this is not the case, just continue holding where you are, relaxing deeper. If you can open your leg out to your right, extend fully, but keep your hips on the floor and especially press the top of your left thigh down into the floor. Come back to center, shake your legs, bring your knees to your chest and rock side to side. Relax your belly, relax your thighs. Let's grab the heels once again, happy baby pose. Spread your knees out wide and keep your heels over your knees. Continue resisting your heels into your hands, press your hands down into your heels. Like that you can open your hips even more. Keep your left knee bent, extend your right leg fully. First, square your hips and place your right hand on top of your right thigh. Gently push it down. From there, extend your right leg fully and flex your right foot. Start extending through your left knee, gently opening the leg out to your left, then bend your knee once again. You can adjust this stretch. You can do less or do more. Find long, deep flow of your inhalation and exhalation. Then if you can, open your leg out to your left and hold. Continue pressing the right thigh down into the floor, square your hips. Come back to center, hug your knees, rock side to side.
grab the back of your legs and come to seated. Cross your shins, knees into your chest, hands on the floor. Step to the back of the mat. High plank pose. As you exhale, lift your hips up and back. Arrive to your downward facing dog. Lift your heels, connect your feet, lift your hips higher. And then right leg reaches up. As you exhale, look forward, bring your knee to your chest and step your right foot outside of your right hand. Lizard lunge. Keep your right knee over the ankle. Gently lower your back knee as far as possible. And hold. You are going to stay in the pose for five breaths. You can choose, you can bend your elbows and lower down. You can have your arms fully extended. It doesn't matter, just try to push your hips forward and down so that we are working with deep flexion. Tune into your breath. And try to relax. As you inhale, open to the side, press your hand into your right inner thigh. As you open your chest, extend your elbow fully, look up, come back to center, hands down, place your foot in the middle of the mat and push your hips back, stack your hips over your left knee. Then push the right hip back, left hip forward and squeeze your inner thighs. From there, gently bring your belly button towards the spine and start folding forward from your hips, extending through the lower back. Exhale fully. Inhale, come back, low lunge, tuck your toes and bring your heel 45 degrees. Warrior one legs. Hands to your heart, stand up tall. Keep your knee over the ankle. Bring your hands behind your hips, clasp your hands. And without twisting your hips, start lowering your chest down inside of your right thigh. Keep your front thigh parallel to the floor and hold for five breaths. Inhale, takes you up, open your chest out to your left, rotate your hips, warrior your two legs, reach your arms, just parallel to the floor, look forward, deep inhale, as you exhale, fold forward, placing your right hand inside of your right foot, then reach your left behind your back and slowly thread your right arm under your thigh, reach for your hands, or hold your wrist, then push your hips forward, bringing your chest back and up. Resist your right shoulder into your right thigh and open fully. Couple more breaths, long deep inhale, into your chest, exhale, hands down. Step to the back of the mat, downward facing dog, bend your knees and sit back, extend through the chest, child's pose, deep long inhale, exhale, side out, let's come back to our hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back. Downward facing dog. As you inhale, lift your heels and connect your feet. Left leg up, deep, long inhale. As you exhale, look forward. Shoulders forward, knee to your chest. Step your foot outside of your left hand. Keep your knee over the ankle, 90 degrees. As you exhale, slowly bring your back knee to 
towards the floor. Feel nice, gentle stretch in the front of your right hip. Five breaths. You can hold your elbows extended if you want to go deeper. Lower down onto your elbows. Inhale, come up, place your left hand inside of your left thigh and gently apply some pressure, sending your left knee out to the side, extend through the elbow. Long, deep inhale and exhale. Come back to center, look down, hands on the floor. Bring your foot in between your hands and gently push your hips back. Stack your hips over your right knee, square your hips, pull the belly in and start melting your heart down towards extended knee. Relax your head, melt your chest and stretch fully. Deep long inhale, continue breathing in and out. Exhale, bend the front knee, tuck your toes and bring your heel down to 45 degree. Connect your hands to your heart, stand up, lift your chest, interlace the hands behind your hips, keep your hips at the same place and your front thigh parallel to the floor, start folding forward but not over your thigh, inside of your left thigh, your left shoulder next to your left inner knee. Reaching the hands up and down the mat, relax the crown of the head. Hips lower and inhale, come up. Stretch your arms out to the sides and bring your hips and your chest to your right. Warrior two. As you exhale, Fold forward and place your hand inside of your left leg. Reach your right arm behind your back, your left arm under your thigh. Try to interlace your fingers or reach for your right wrist. From there, lower your hips, push your hips forward, push your chest back, lift your right shoulder and look up. Couple more breaths, deep long inhale, exhale. Look down, hands down and rotate your feet alongside the mat, wide legged forward fold, hands on the sides, lift up to stand in. Now it's time to practice some balance. Connect your feet together, Tadasana. Inhale. Press your left foot into the floor. Lift your right knee up. Hold with your right hand. Adjust and find the balance. Press all four corners of your left foot into the floor. When you're ready, Bring your right knee out to your right. Gaze forward. Keep your hip points in one line, chest over your hips. Grab hold your right foot and place your left inner thigh. Connect your hands to your heart. Three poles. As you root down, rise up through the crown of the head. When you're ready, lift your arms up and over your head. Spread the shoulders. Spread the elbows wide. 
Exhale. Relax, hands down. Foot down. Hands to your sides. Left side. Deep inhale. Lift your left knee up. Hold. Balance your hips. Tuck your tailbone. Press your right foot into the floor. When you're ready, start bringing your left knee out to your left and squeeze your thigh in the side of the body without twisting your hips. Keep your hip points on the same level. Grab hold your foot and place your left foot on top of your right inner thigh. Connect your hands. Find your balance. When you're ready, lift your arms up and over your head. Gaze forward. Tune into your breath. Exhale, hands to your heart. Relax. Separate your feet as wide as your hips. Grab hold the opposite elbow, bend the knee softly and fold forward. Rock side to side, relax and release the crown of the head down. Melt your shoulders, your chest down over your thighs. Let's try our final pose. Hands on the floor. Deep inhale, lift your chest, bend your right knee, reach your left arm up and behind the back. Reach your right arm under your right thigh and under your right knee. Bend your knees more, grab hold your wrist or interlace your fingers. If you can interlace your fingers, you are ready to take the next step. Bend your left knee and start lifting up. Don't change the positions of your hands. Keep your knee bent. If you feel like going deeper, extend your right leg out to the side and find your balance. When you're ready, slowly go down. Relax your head. Grab hold the opposite elbow and let's do on the other side. First, lift your chest, hands down. Bend your left knee. Exhale. Reach your right arm up and twist. From there, go deeper. Reach your right arm behind your back, left arm under your thigh. Clasp your hands. Hold. Pull your right shoulder up. Hold this deep connection. Maybe you just stay here. You already do great. If you're ready, press into your right foot and lift up. Tuck your tailbone. Engage through the belly. And if you can extend your left leg out to the side and up, find your balance. It's a hard pose. Remember that. Don't rush your progress. Just practice every single day and you will get the results soon. Don't get frustrated. Now relax, separate your feet more and gently bring your hips down. Malasana. We are going to finish our main sequence here. Thank you very much. You did a great job. Relax and finish the practice with the cool down sequence. I will see you soon.